Hello, this is Gio. And you know, sometimes things that seem simple are not always that simple. One case is opening and closing paint cans. I don't know how many times I've spoken with people who perhaps don't paint um, on a daily basis or haven't painted for a long time, and they just look at a can of paint and say, how am I supposed to open this? And so often people are in a rush, a rush and they open them improperly, they dent the can, they can't close them properly. So that's what we're going to talk about today, how to open and close paint cans. Okay, so let's get started. Now, when you go purchase your paint, um, one thing you got to do is ask the paint store for a paint can opener. And they'll give normally give you these things for free. And this is typically what it looks like. It has, uh, this one I think I actually purchased. It has a little bottle opener for uh, your uh, Coke or beer, whatever you want to do. But um, it does have this little lip here. And so this lip goes underneath the paint can and you could just pry it up. Now you don't want to pry it up in just one spot. You want to go around kind of evenly all the way around. If you just start prying here and pop it up, it will deform and you'll have a hard time uh, closing it up again. So you just want to go gently all the way around and then eventually kind of pops. You can kind of hear it and then just go all the way around until it's totally open. Just like that. And so this one's pretty much full. If you don't have uh, or you can't find your paint can opener, you can also get a kind of a larger screwdriver. Now this one is a uh, good size because it actually it's wider than the typical paint can opener. And you can get under the lip and do a very much of the same thing. I would not recommend using a smaller screwdriver because that will uh, put too much uh, pressure on on the rim and it'll, you'll get more deformation. You could also use a nice stiff putty knife to do the same thing. Now when shutting uh, a paint can, now I'm going to put this aside for just a second and I'll show you a bad example of how to shut a paint can. Now this one is, you know, after you paint, now you can almost not help but get paint on the rim. You get paint all the way down, you're pouring it, I mean, you're going to have paint on the rim, but what you want to do is make sure you don't gum it up and shut the paint lid while it's still gummed up. I think there's actually, I could even see some air uh, on the lid. I'm not even sure if this paint is still good because it was so gummed up, they couldn't close the paint properly. So what you want to do, back to our paint can here, let's just lift this up. Let's just assume we've been painting and using it and there's paint all over it paint always gets into this little uh, lip here. And so what you want to do is take your paint brush and just kind of go around right before you close it. You kind of want to scoop up all that paint out and let it kind of puddle. You may want to actually even take a rag on the side because it might drip. Or you could just simply take your rag and go around the rim and try to get as much of that uh, paint out as possible. If it has kind of gummed up, you may want to just, you know, take a screwdriver, kind of get some of that goop out of there because you want to get as much out so when you hammer your uh, paint lid shut, it'll be, uh, it'll, it'll seal properly. So we've cleaned it off, we take the lid back, and instead of taking a big hammer and just wailing at it like I've seen, sometimes I even see people just kind of pounded with their fist. Eh, you know, usually that doesn't make a good seal. I like to get a little rubber mallet or perhaps even a smaller plastic mallet and just go around just gently. Again, just like you open it up uh, all the way around, just gently. You don't want to hit it too hard. If you don't have a rubber mallet, try to find a small hammer because you don't want too much weight on it. You want to just basically tap it and a smaller hammer will help you do that. And so, just go all the way around and tap it shut so it's always shut. And then just inspect it to make sure everything's kind of shut properly. Well, there you go. Sometimes easy things are not that easy, but with uh, if you have patience, you can uh, get things properly sealed, properly open. There you go, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.